Okay, we're gonna give this another try. Not even gonna do a musical intro. We're just gonna we're just gonna get into it and kill chaos. And hopefully the internet will not uh, shit the bed again. The other day it was supposed to be the day when it was all fixed. But it turned out it was way more broken than they thought. And still is. Almost like the thing that we've been telling them for the last five years. You know? Maybe they should friggin' listen. Alright. Yes, I know. It has an autosave feature. Here we go. Right into it. Oh, I gotta turn down the volume a bit. Hopefully there's not too many I did it my ways. But we'll talk over those and also see if we can't... Like... Fix it in post. The problem is, they told me, hey, you can do this, but with all these restrictions, and then didn't give me any way to adhere to the restrictions that they set. So I don't think they have a leg to stand on on this. No matter how big they are. The worst they can really do is send us a takedown notice. So here we have Garland walking out with Princess Sarah. And we got all these Cornelian soldiers just getting fucking obliterated. Like, that is so much blood. This is great. That's not what you expect to see in Final Fantasy. The crystal is, obviously. So the general idea in Final Fantasy is you've got the crystal that controls destiny, or crystals, however you want to think of it, because it changes from game to game. And then you've got the, the Great Chaos, the Dark Cloud, Genova, um, Neo Exodus. Uh, that's just the giant Necron. That's just the Great Dark Force that wants to wreck everyone's shit. Final Fantasy VII Remake even made that more clear at the end, which was pretty cool. And this game wants to be Final Fantasy VII Remake for Final Fantasy I. And that's an interesting idea, but we'll see if they can succeed at it. Oh, right. I have to press A at the end of the loading screen. Kind of weird. Time to kill Tiamat. Labored breathing. Uh, cocky chuckle. Grunt of agreement. Get up on the Hydra's back. They also made Jack's hair blonder, which is a damn shame. Because I liked the idea that was put forth in the demo that um, Garland's hair has just always been white. Oh, obvious spoiler. Jack Garland is, in fact, Jack Garland. I got hit. I wonder what happens if you lose this fight. It's very easy to win.
Even on the highest difficulty level that we're on. Did I set the difficulty? I gotta actually check that. I think it's still on hard. I brought up the menu and got hit for it. I missed the context of this fight both times. There is no context for it. All we see is Garland taking Princess Sarah away. Then why doesn't it feel like it? And killing all the Cornelian soldiers. And then we're brought to here. Scream of Pain. By question marks. I just noticed that there is no... Um, name for the Scream of Pain. More bots? They just keep coming, huh? Is our chat really that valuable? So here's where we get Frank Sinatra's My Way, which they don't give us any warning that it's going to happen. So that's wild. That's wild, right? So we just got to talk over it, basically, so the bots don't mistake it for a replacement for a legal copy of the song. Nameless Scream of Pain is your metal band. That's a pretty good one. I kind of like it better when it was Limp Biscuit. Like, this is obviously the song that makes it less, that makes people make fun of it less. Let's see. System settings. Um, audio, camera, brightness, basic settings. How do I change the difficulty? It's here somewhere. Graphic settings. Online settings. I'm not doing online. I'm doing it all single player. Alright, well, difficulty will come up somewhere. Oh, we're on hard. Okay, good. I did. I did pick the right one. Alright, now we're in the tutorial again. I didn't see if it gives us an option to skip it. Time to lock on to Greg. Yep. And I just... Skip. There's no way to skip the tutorial, huh? Well, that's kind of obnoxious. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? At least it's quick. Oh, I'll deplete the goblin's break gauge. See if I don't. I like that I did the soul burst before it even told me how to soul burst. Wow, that is some blood. That is some Neo 2 or Elden Ring level. Just blood. Hi, baby. Also, hi, Christy. I don't think I said that. Hold B to deplete your break gauge. And counterattack. Defeat Goblin. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Here is Soul Shield. It's very powerful. Yada yada. Go to the next one. Instant abilities, which is blue magic, as I said. Now I threw a rock at him. Sugar crisp, woo, woo You know, sugar bear used to a woo. When your max MP has increased to two or more full, full gauges, you can use a light bringer. Thank <laughs> you. 
this lock on. You can tell it's a soul's light because the lock on sucks. Hey, look, we're further than we got last time. Isn't that great? A miracle, truly. Well, there's some product placement. Wow, they zoomed in on the feet just to show those fucking, um... Oh, I forget the name of it. I forget the name of the shoe brand, so apparently it doesn't work. The crystals can sense each other. You have one too, don't you? My mission is to kill chaos. That's all I know. <laughs> Good. They each have a crystal, but they're orbs. I'm Jack. Jed. Ash. So, Final Fantasy 1, when it was released in the West, they added on a plot line. Jack, Jed, and Ash appeal to the King of Cornelia for leave to hunt down chaos, but are refused. For, oh. Several weeks have passed since that day. Now our three heroes return in triumph, their quest complete. So there was a uh, an extra plot line added to the Western release. Which was um, Garland trapped everything in the time loop cycle. And this is just all thrown at you at the end. And this is going with that cannon. Which is great. Yeah, I guess the game's already over. It's just a scratch. Nothing a little spit can't heal. Don't spit on your scratch. When are we gonna fight chaos? All this monster hunting is a pain in the ass. Seriously. Fingers crossed we're done. Either way, time to pay the king a visit. And we don't leave without answers. Hmm. On the bright side, as far as I've gotten, um, Jack is the only particularly unlikable person, and even he's and even he's just kind of bland. Oh, and this is the original Western intro to Final Fantasy One. But the people believe in a prophecy. That's cute. Awaiting its fulfillment. When darkness veils the world. Four warriors of light shall come. Fool's Missive 2. Cornelia. Ah, Cornelia, that joyous city with its proud alabaster castle. Though it lives in the shadow of chaos, its noble people greet the dawn with heads held high. The spirits of Cornelia's common folk are sustained by the royal family, particularly the beloved princesses. Princess Sarah is Cornelia's moon, her silvery smile a balm that heals any troubled heart. Princess Mia is its sun, a source of comforting warmth to all. Yet it is a prophecy too that sustains the people's hope. The wise words of Lucan, foretelling warriors of light who will one day rise up and lead Cornelia to salvation. They just keep grunting like manly men that do man things. Yep. You are skilled, to be sure. Few <laughs> could have slain even one of those abominations, let alone three. Well, I guess they've already murdered three out of four of the fiends, and then they died to Tiamat again. Well, they didn't die yet to Tiamat this time. And your crystals trouble me. They do not shine the color they should. Can't argue with that. But you need warriors, right? <laughs> Look in front of you. I like that they have orbs, but they're calling them crystals. Down for you. That's very cute. Respect. Isn't that what matters most? Perhaps. Yet a question still weighs on my mind. 
warriors of the dark crystals final fantasy 15 was really gay though completely unintentionally as far as we know all i care about is seeing chaos dead if i need to it's not a hope or a dream it's like a hunger a thirst hmm does that answer your question? I think Jack has a crush on chaos. Very well. Minister Lagon. Fetch Lagon, that's how we're going to pronounce that? My lord. Jack. Ash. Jed. I place the future of Cornelia in your hands. This guy sounds a little bit too much like General Pepper to be pronouncing that Cornelia. Do not fail us. I'll deliver the key to you in the morning. Make your preparations and wait for me at the city gates. Until then. What was that pause? Oh, I can't just walk up to the king like in the original. But you are different somehow. I expect Oh god. Don't do that. You can see that his head is only attached to his body by the beard. The game is quite low. All right, I can fix that. Let me see if I can fix it in game. Otherwise, I'll do it in OBS. Because I would like to leave the audio where it is because it's set up for my Overwatch settings. Uh, no, that's as high as it goes in game. So I'm going to have to fuck with it in Overwatch instead and turn it down a bit there. All right, let's try this. Oh, you can pause it. That's good. I'll deliver the key in the morning. Is this any better? Make your preparations for the journey ahead. Excellent. Mia is so tiny. I want her dress. Cornelia is counting on you to save us from the darkness. The darkness. You will. May the crystal's blessing be with you always. Oh, this must be based on Kingdom Hearts, right? Feel that a bunch of dudes grunting at each other and somehow understanding each other's every intent isn't all that straight. Little bit. I'm just going to assume that all three of these guys are romantically involved. You look every bit the warrior. I can imagine it serves you well on the battlefield. Even so, I would kindly ask that you smile in front of my daughters. In, um... Neo 2, the main character and the female lead um, fall in love no matter what, though. So, like... Gayness is not anywhere beyond the current Team Ninja. Hmm? What's going on? Princess Sarah. The people love her. <sighs> like a flower blooming in a dark wasteland. Tara has not been kidnapped yet in this loop. Mm. Uh. Annoyed exhale. Come on, Jack. Wouldn't kill you to smile for once. Mm. Like Jed. Jed smiling all the time. Mm. And with a few more scars. Sorry, I have resting villain face. Has the best medicine. Oh, that's wonderful. In that case. It's not too much trouble. Would you be able to spare some for our soldiers in the castle? <laughs> <laughs> There's no medicine, is there? Is there something you want? There he is. meant laughter. I need a favor from you. I heard you were going to the shrine, so I thought this would be my only chance to ask. A favor? Two, actually. A favor? There was a knight by the name of Garland who set off to battle chaos as well, but 
He never returned. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Look, we don't have time for a rescue mission, Princess. I understand. You don't need to go out of your way. Just keep an eye out for him. What does he look like? He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. He towered over the other knights. Even so, his voice was always warm. How long ago was this? So far, this does not match Jack here. Although, it seems just like yesterday. No one... Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Not the minister, not my father. They say a knight by the name of Garland never existed. As you wish. So does Jack know his last name is Garland yet? Thank you. Because it showed it in the trailer, so this isn't spoiling anything. Wait. The other favor. Come back safe. And soon. <clears throat> Grunt of agreement. Be with you. Always. I want her dress too. The dresses in this game are beautiful. Oh, I want that peasant girl's dress. On the right, and the one on the left. Odd. Your crystal vibrating too? Yeah, weird. Forget it. We need to focus. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. The game was on IMDB last I checked. Did they take it down? Did Square take down the credits so people would have to buy the game to see them? I heard you're off to the shrine tomorrow. Why don't you spend the night here? Yeah. Great. Come on in. Yes. He's uh, been narrator for, like, multiple things. This is his first big role. And it probably stands out his bad voice his not great voice acting probably stands out more because he's obviously recorded in a different place from everyone else bear this in mind travel northwest and you will reach the chaos shrine so far this matches with what i know did he just say go with this garland did he just give me a garland All right, so I'm going to try not to use the pre-order stuff because it's ridiculously powerful. All right, you can talk to people while on the world map. Press start to open the menu and select talk to initiate a conversation. Wow. Okay. Braveheart, Lustrous Shield, Rebellion. Those are the, uh, the pre-order items. And there's a whole job system. It does not work for characters other than Jack. Only Jack can change jobs from what I've seen, which is interesting. Also, it looks like there may be more characters than just the four, than just the four uh, light warriors. Which is also interesting because you go to edit party and you see there's space for three in the party. And then there's also a reserve space. So maybe. Does it do cool shit when you use it? Not really. It's just another weapon that looks kind of nice. Let's see. So maybe I'll use it when we're not using like level 1 to 5 stuff. Because it starts out at level 20. So I'm going to try not to abuse that. Where is talk? There's no talk on when you press start. Oh, here we go. It didn't tell me that I had to move to a different menu section. Multiplayer. Um. So does everyone just have to play Jack? It feels weird that you play Jack and you don't make a character in the Final Fantasy 1 remake. Um, there's a smithy, apparently. Oh, we can upgrade special effects and dismantle right now. No need to do that, because we don't have shit. 
I found a grizzled veteran. Wow, there's a loading time before conversating. Holy shit. It looks like the time has finally come for your expedition to the shrine. I pray for your success and safe return. This camera work is awful. Okay, it's not between every conversation. Soon, aren't you? Well, I hope yeah, he sure is fresh-faced. We'll Look at all that face. You're going to the shrine, right? It won't be easy, but give Chaos a few knocks on the head for us. Hi, Freya. You to slay Chaos. Life's hard enough for a farmer as it is, without the soil going bad. My children will have a bright future to look forward to once you warriors rid our land of chaos. A long time ago, my grandmother told me a story of someone who went to the shrine and never returned. You had better come back now. This whole thing, just about every piece of dialogue here is is referring back to the fact that they're in a time loop. And that's kind of funny. Right, Daymare 1998 is on IMDb, and it's not this guy. Oh, I had thought that you meant, uh, I had thought that you meant this game wasn't on IMDb. But Daymare 1998 was, uh, that Dreamcast game that got a really limited release, right? About time travel? I heard there are monsters out there would use their cunning to outwit their prey. Let's keep your wits about you on the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. All right, Illusion at Journey's End is the name of Mission 1. This is not being subtle, huh? Oh, I am going to actually switch up my class real quick. Because I discovered that I much prefer... Oh, whoops. I forget how to change my party. Change preset? No. Battle settings. Oh, swordsman. Um, switch duelist to sword fighter. Oh, we actually, I guess I'm using the level 20 stuff. I lied because I don't have any other weapons to put on sword fighter. Whoops. So, uh, yeah, we're using that after all. It was a shitty thing they played on Let's Know, but was just a shitty Corporal Black Ops dude shooting scientists. Oh. There was a Dreamcast uh, game about time travel that had kind of similar voice acting. Chaos Shrine 2. Ghoul's Missive 3. I had never known a shrine to be here, not in all my past observations. It seems to have suddenly appeared, and yet no one has paid this phenomenon any mind. Something must have happened. But what could have triggered this to appear in the distant future, in a place where no one would interfere? I like the sly Final Fantasy IX nudges there. <laughs> bats. Suddenly, bats. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. You gonna make us go in there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. Yeah, like, their clothes really stand out from everyone else. And I'm certain we'll learn about that. Gesundheit.
Also, I like that you get to touch cube. Touch cube to restore your HP, MP, and refill your potions. If your MP is lower than your initial MP, it will be restored to the initial value. Doing so will revive any slain enemies and remove any unclaimed items from the field. Head to the last set of... When you fall in battle, you'll return to the last set of cubes you touched. I love cubes. Cubes. Wow, I can't talk. Too bad that's my job, huh? I wonder if there's any stealth moves. We got company. No, it doesn't look like it. Or maybe it's like Neo 2 where you need a special ability to sneak. To backstab, rather. These are tutorial balls. Press left or right to activate an ally's resonance state, during which they will use their abilities more aggressively. Ash, show me what you can do. You oh, got it. it. Sorry for them. <laughs> Next. There's no jump button either. Don't know all that much about Final Fantasy, but this game feels like a mix between Devil May Cry and Dark Souls. A little bit, yeah. It's got that squishiness and comboing um, of Devil May Cry. It feels a lot like... I don't know, it feels like a cross between Neo 2 and Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which is not a bad way to be. Look here. Twilight Tunic. Sure, let's wear the Twilight Tunic. There, see? Now we can wear something that looks a little more setting appropriate. Is there a dodge roll? Yes. You can also roll into stuff to break it. Which Sue says is the only actual prerequisite for it to be a Souls-like. Jack, there's one down there. You can instantly change from one battle set to the other. So you've got a quick job change. You can change your battle sets by opening the battle settings menu. Yeah, yeah, I know how to do it. That's fine. Oh, whoops. I meant to do that. Don't worry about it. Warm welcome. This will be a breeze. Whoops. The glory kills are adorable. Some enemies cannot be staggered with regular attacks. Soul Shield and Action Abilities, however, can still stagger them. In addition, pressing left or right will cause your out- Yes, you told me that. And here's a- Here's a- Here's a space hole. Where does all that darkness come from? A wall anus. There you are. I don't stand a chance. A monster just popped out of that one! Jack likes to put his fist in the wall anus. We can fight again. Nice one, Jack. Now let's see what secrets this place is hiding. See? You can just roll through shit. I can't find any information on who played Jack in the demo. Like the early alpha demo. It's a damn shame, really. You have to stop saying darkness. This isn't Kingdom Hearts, Ash. All right, job trees. So now I can upgrade sword fighter to increase job affinity, which it does not do a good job of telling you what that means right away. 
But basically, when you get, as you raise your job affinity with a class, you get more bonuses from this list. At 20%, you get Swordfighter's Wisdom, which adds HP plus 25, and then Stamina plus 2, and so on and so forth. And of course, because it's a percentage, it goes all the way up to 400%. So there's really no reason for them to have put a percentage. Oh well. Twilight Bracers. Don't worry, we'll start redressing the other two soon too as well. Alright, I guess I'm going to make myself... I thought I was going to make myself weaker, but uh, I guess not. I was going to put on a lower level shield because it said there was a new shield. Magic attacks like fire will still deal some damage even if you guard. Continuous hits with certain attacks will inflict status ailments. Additionally, taking damage from the same element repeatedly will make you vulnerable to that element, temporarily allowing subsequent attacks of the same type to deal even greater damage. That's great, but I cannot use magic yet, so why are you telling me? Now I can use one. I've got a fire as an instant ability. Press down to use a potion and recover your HP. Like a Dark Souls. <laughs> Corridor of Fools. Oh shit, I died. Gotta pay more attention, I think. All right. You may lose max MP depending on the difficulty. Oh, I guess on the lower difficulties, you don't lose max MP for uh, dying. That's interesting. I like trousers. Um, Ash can wear the pale gloves and they're good for agility. Enemy spotted. Let's knock them down. Uh, scrunch. The glory kills are great. <laughs> Just really great. Oh, hey, there's my blood stain. Stay out of the flames unless you want to get cooked. Ah, I got my MP back. So there's no way through that hallway without just dying to the fire. We got company. Oh hi. Didn't see you come in. Whoosh. Oh, I can just knock over entire stone pillars with my sword, apparently. There's a lot of knocking shit over in this game, honestly. Yeah. 
don't have anything to break that down if it's even break downable. Up ahead. Oh shit, I died again. Oh wait, no I didn't. I like that the goblins stop to laugh at you. All oh, right, I need to equip both of his job his job settings. Away. We can breathe. We can fight again. All right. Now let's actually equip his other job. Which one of these is better for him? Stamina. There, no more strangers stuff. Now he actually looks like a fantasy character. Oh, we've got lots of knuckles. Wow, these are all identical. That's weird. That's enough, baby. It's okay, it's just thunder. They can only wear gear that matches their job class. Where did you get fancy sneakers in Fantasy Europe or wherever? Mm-hmm. Actor. Gotta stay sharp, guys. Oh no. Ow. Okay. I actually didn't know it could do that, but I suppose I should have realized it. It didn't get to last time. I bet I could absorb ten thousand needles or one thousand needles with uh with my soul shield. This is the one. All right, I was going to equip his other battle set. That's where I fucked up. I mean, might as well, since we're already using them on the other class. Oh, no. There we go. Now he's actually got stats. We got company. Let's knock them down. Did he just say let's knock them all down? I'm so happy, but why wasn't it Jack who said it? You know, I almost feel sorry for them. Barely even worth the trouble. There you are. This will be a breeze. Out of all the Souls games, I'd say that this feels more most like Bloodborne. I haven't played a lot of Bloodborne. 
But it definitely encourages being aggressive over all else. What should we do now? Now, rude. Time for a change. The thing about this game is it clearly thinks it's super cool and it clearly wants you to think so too. Because they actually changed the voice actor and the soundtrack because people didn't think it was cool. Exactly, Freya. All right, now we're good. I wonder if... Okay, Cactor is still here. Whoops. No, not falling for that. Probably. Time to go wild, I'll leave the Nana watch and learn a couple Good old Cactor. Everyone loves the Cactor Runner. He is a terrific cactus. Alright, we're gonna go caster soon. Just so you know, I really like how the magic works in this game. Although, on this job, better to keep the Twilight Trousers open. Basically, I feel like you're supposed to level Jack before everyone else. Or are supposed to equip Jack before everyone else and then worry about everyone else's equipment. Because if Jack dies, it's game over. Well, if anyone else dies, they'll just revive at the next cube. Aw, little cactus. All right, we've got four job points. Uh, let's see, this can be set to RB to RT, which I think it does that automatically. <laughs> Still just look like pants that dude would wear, yep. I gotta change out the I gotta change out the tank top before it's gonna look like anything. Alright. So RB to RT is now sl slash and soar. Which looks like this. Now. now we're Final Fantasy. Now, can I ch level up the other people's job trees? It doesn't look like it. If there's a way to level up the other people's job trees, I don't know what it is. It seems like I can't do that. It seems like Jack's the only one I have to worry about.
I'm gonna flip that to um I feel like left is probably gonna be the easiest place to get to it. They got levels for murder, but I guess they're fine with their job descriptions. Yeah, it seems that way. It probably levels up their jobs on its own. Alright, now we got a club. Can we join that club is the question. So now we have Mage. It'll automatically um, re send us back to Mage if we equip the weapon for it, just like Final Fantasy XIV. So now we switch Jack over to... Let's give him the let's give him the adorable onesie. No oh, wait, no, we have caster trousers. No adorable onesie for Jack. Uh, he can't wear adorable onesies. You can wear adorable onesies. There we go. Now he looks like a fantasy character. Like, finally. Ash, on the other hand, looks like a bondage newsboy. Right. What, uh, what did I say? I don't understand the difference. These are the same photo. Fantasy meaning there's more belts than he has sense. Yep. Hey, look, we opened a shortcut. Like in, like in Dark Soul. So this is how magic works. Isn't that great? See anything following us? Let's get ourselves together. Oh, I can't just build up a bunch of, uh, Fire magics. This one's got some teeth. We gotta keep our heads cool. Hi, Garland will knock you all down. X thirty six. Yep. Just like in Doom, you can just interrupt whatever you're doing by uh, firing off a uh, glory kill. Which is nice because you get instant iframes when you start a glory kill. Ah, this is that door that we uh, couldn't get through earlier. Now it's been burnt down. Ooh, Killer Knuckles level 6. Yeah, I really like the, the casting mechanic. Weapons and armor may have job affinities. Yes. Oh, right. I forgot that uh, mages can use 
Um, mages can use shields. Hail gloves. Those are granting agility. These grant strike damage and stamina, which is probably better. Twilight trousers. That grants swordsman affinity. So maybe I switch Jack over to those on this one. No, wait, he's a sword fighter, not a swordsman. Feels like Ash can't equip a lot, but that's just kind of the way that monks always are. They tend to have a very limited equipment pool that's very powerful. Alright, let's heal up real quick. I have to get through those flames. Oh whoops. That's totally what I meant to do. Don't even worry about it. And he can put out fire with water. It's a revelation. Each attack has individual attributes. Physical attacks have slash, pierce, and strike, while magic attacks have fire, ice, lightning, earth, water, wind, holy, or dark. By your powers combined, I am Final Fantasy. Some enemies are weak to certain attributes and take greatly increased break damage from attacks sharing those attributes. I don't know if they... I think it also increases... I think it also increases um, health damage, but it definitely increases break. Oh, whoops. That's okay. Now we get... Caster Shoes. Sweet. Mama needs a new pair of shoes, and she got it. And they have Mage Affinity. Excellent. Ooh, and a Caster Coat. Now he can be real... Oh, wait, this is the Sword Fighter. Whoops. <laughs> cough, cough. Um, let's see. Caster coat. There we go. Twilight boots replaced with caster shoes. Twilight headband replaced with other twilight headband. Human Pokemon. Huh! Human Pokemon! I like it! That gives... Ah, uh, that's, that's two levels lower, but it does give Mage Affinity. I don't think it's worth it for 2%. Can I get any new equipment for my other two characters? I should refill my MP. I'm just gonna end up wasting it again. It's fine. Nice room. With plenty of places to hide. Stay alert. Be alert. The world needs more alerts. I don't want to look at it anymore. It's so old. Now let's move. Time for a change. Yeah, I can't get through there anyway. See what's inside, Jack. This looks good. Gonna use it? Caster coat level five, caster trousers level five. Uh both rare. 
Sweet. Uh, we've got Mage's Wisdom too, which gives us Intellect and Spirit. There's clearly wolves uh, waiting to ambush us. I'm just saying. Interactable environment elements will be clearly marked by a crystal anus. They're such meaty animations. There, right, we got a caster mask now, which is a sub zero ninja mask. Because Jack's a Mortal Kombat ninja, apparently. All right, I like this part a lot. This is this. I'm, we're almost back to where I tested it up to. Now what? Watch this. Watch this. Hey you. <laughs> That's the good shit right there. There's plenty of kindling around. is very easily stopped by scenery is the trouble. There we go. Oh, shit. He's a Lin Kuei. Very nice. Ooh, Mage Masher is level six. There we go. Now Jed can be strong, too. I guess we can put equipment... Oh, hey, that one actually has affinity for him. No. Caster coat? There's all these caster coats, which are better than the, than the, the fucking tank top. These have Pugilist Affinity, too. All right. Um, so the Caster Trousers level 3 and 4. I guess the 4 is better because it's got one more defense. Just getting a lot of these caster items, I guess, just to make sure we're, like, up to speed.
No, wait, no, let's actually keep the slightly lower level ones. There's a lot of uh, inventory juggling. Technically better. Not by a lot, but it works. You get so many items that there's actually an option to turn off picking up items below a certain rarity. Pale Greaves, Pale Protector. Okay, who was using the Pale set? I cannot keep them straight. Okay, Pale set is on Jed. So an even better Bondage Newsy suit. Duelist Affinity has reached 50%. Because that has 28 on it. That is wild. Gotta look around a bit and make sure we got everything. Again, no jump button, which absolutely throws me off because I'm not used to playing these types of games. It throws me off in Final Fantasy VII Remake, too, and that's more traditional as RPGs go. So we've come full circle, huh? So they remember Tiamat this loop. That's interesting, right? I wish you could keep it on the look around camera just for the fixed angle. For a moment, I thought you could the first time I got here. I think this is the last room I reached. Ooh. Ooh, yes, I remember. I remember that I got the halberd. Lancers can assail foes from a distance with their long reach and exploit their enemies' weaknesses with weapon skills of every attack type. Uh, pierce by holding forward, strike by holding back, slash by holding left or right, or hold down the attack button. They can also hurl the lance with their action ability. Holding down the button will charge it. So yeah, now we're changing Jack's swordsman out for um, Lancer. Because I fucking love Dragoons. That's the next way to go. I need more cubes. Y'all, I need more cubes. Let's go. Let's go. Oops. Ooh, that is nasty. Sorry if I dropped the ball. All right. Strider mask, which is literally the mask of Strider here you but a different color. Good, good. I'm glad. Um Twilight tunic. 
not really any good options for this. I guess we'll bring him up to a higher level caster coat. Level 5 Pale Gloves. Blue Rarity. So I guess they're slightly better technically. Strider Gators. Y'all remember Strider Gator? That was my favorite arcade game. Now I'm angry! Up ahead! Come on, follow me. Yes, don't let up! I hate bats. This game is so adorably edgy. Oh yeah, the Steam release of the new Strider game, you mean? It's alright. It felt a lot more nebulous than the original, but uh, it played really well. The maps were just a little frustrating and confusing for me. Turned that bat into a football and uh, spiked it. Yep. If Jack was a king, he'd be the Lord of Edges. Hmm. What are what's in there? Twilight bracers and twilight tunic. High level. Uh, good. Lancer. And Lancer. Perfect. Thrust attack bonus. You spike sports balls, right? Probably. I'm not very good at sports balling. Of any sort, really. I know how to sports puck a little bit. Chaos saves the biggest tower for himself. Still got a ways to go. Yeah, stay alert. Stay focused. Stay safe. Those fucking PSAs are like the source of so many, so many Canadian 90s kids' furriness. This game has Resident Evil voice acting a bit, yeah. Some abilities can be triggered to cancel an action early. Instant abilities. Instant abilities stolen from enemies can be activated to cancel an action ability mid-use, and faster than would otherwise be possible. Try using the following combo against your foes. Normal attack, action ability, instant ability. So, RBRTX. All command abilities, including Lightbringer, can be triggered after canceling their action. Also note that you are invulnerable to enemy attacks while triggering Lightbringer. I feel like they just accidentally made things a certain way and then experimented with it until they found cool tricks. This doesn't sound intentional, the things they're describing. Enemy spotted. I got it. Kill the fiends and these gross get weaker. Working on the smashing. Giving up already? Oh, okay. The roots. 
Oh, gotta go faster than that, I guess. One down. One down, two to go. Two down. We did some mechanics, then let speed speedrunners go absolutely buck cherry on the game for a week and then just wrote down what they did. Yep. That's kind of the impression I'm getting. Which, like, honestly, if that's the case, props. Level 5 greatsword. Will it? I'm glad. I just noticed that all the clothes we've picked up in here have been jet fucking black. Except for the 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 newsboy onesie, which is very blue. But also jet black. <laughs> Those cubes. Let's have a look. Anima Shard, Seeker of Power. Height Shield, level five. Press Y immediately after using an action ability to activate a chain cancel. <laughs> and switch battle sets faster than usual. Use this to unleash a follow-up attack on the enemy, move out of their range, and more. Okay, so I go like this. That's fun. Two is really good at doing that in Neo 2, so this is the same idea. Anima shards can be used from the job tree screen to earn job experience. Joining multiplayer games as a guest will earn you more anima shards than standard play. Oh, so if I join as the helper. How do I use anima? Here it is. 4,000. Is that a lot? I guess it's like one level. All right, let's see. What do I got here? You're okay, Risby. It's just thunder. We had the foresight to um, trank them before the storm started. All right, Lancer job affinity. Um. I guess increase break, break gauge recovery speed. And attack type slash cyclone. Or the other order. Slash out at the surrounding foes with your spear. Hold RT for successive attacks. Can be set to RBRT. Cool. Combos. RBRT is now Cyclone. Oh yeah, I guess I can set their combos up too. Oh, they've automatically set up their combos. I can't do shit with them. I can't set up command abilities either. Okay. Maybe I'll be able to later? I don't know, it seems weird to have those screens. Ooh, Skellingtons. Good. Good timing, tutorial. Attacks cloaked in a sinister aura cannot be blocked. If you see one of these, move away. Oh, it's Sekiro. You will be able to block these attacks in casual mode. Good. No, but, like, that's actually the Sekiro uh, unblockable mechanic. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, 
Give me some fire. Come on, Skellington, light my fire. Here it comes. Bone stab. I love the sound of that. Focus on how we can do better next. It really wasn't close. Like, not even a little bit. At no time did I feel threatened. Alright, there's a treasure chest behind this gate, so we'll be coming back around to that later, I suppose. Maybe we need to come back with the magic key. You get it? Because it's Final Fantasy 1. That's the joke. Hey, look, it's one long hallway leading to a single door. We should have just come in this way, y'all. Oh, don't tell me. No, okay. I thought for a second it was just going to let me pull open that door and it would be a shortcut back to the very beginning. Ooh, there's a treasure chest there that's also next to a gate. I see you, Skellingtons. That's that's cute, but I know how traps work in video games. I like that he pulls off the head. And then just throws the, the head back at the skeleton. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, I was warned, too. I like that it does all the damage on the first hit of the attack. Okay, Gaston. So you're not wondering, am I going to survive it? Am I going to survive it? I acquired the key to Fate's... I was... Half joking. Gaston, you're okay. Please chill out. Just a sec, Gaston's freaking out a little. It's okay. See? It's just rain. It can't hurt you. It's just, it's just the rain. Just fucking black except for the onesie. Baby goth life. Yeah. You're okay. Are we good? Um, okay. All right. Can I get back to playing now? He's a good boy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh, God. See, now I feel threatened. Fuck. Oh, I'm dead. Good. Save some of that for later. No mistakes. All right, we got this. The bats are the toughest enemy in here. Getting slumped. At least we have time to take a breather. So is that Fate's doors? Oh, we're losing frames, huh? 
Only a few. No. No, it's getting worse. Well, there's a save point here. So that's good. Hmm. Let's see what that looked like. All right, we good? I don't like it when technicians say that they finished fixing something when they haven't actually finished fixing it. block enemies with soul shield i did literally that here let's try that again let's reset it Bloody claws, I like the sound of that. Oh, I have to be up close. And crunch. I'm trying not to be half dead at the end of this fight. It's not working. That's all of them. We can breathe. We can fight again. All right, we're getting frame loss again. So I'm going to take a break at least and see if it clears up after that. Here are ways that you can help the ongoing civil rights movement around the country and the wider world. Please take a look and see what you can do to help. Uh, we've got the Bail Fund Network to help keep protesters out of jail, the Black Trans Travel Fund, and the Okra Project to help Black trans and non-binary people with food supplies and travel out of dangerous situations, and the Black Hills Legal Fund, the Lakota People's Fund to take back their land, the Six Grandfathers, which was stolen by white people, and renamed arbitrarily to Mount Rushmore. And uh, then had some white slave owners' faces carved into the side of it. And the second command are more current campaigns. This is kept up to date by my sister-in-law, Christy. Christy September in the chat. If you know anything else that needs to go here, please let her know. Black lives matter. The lives of people of color matter. Indigenous lives and lands matter. Asian and Pacific Islander lives matter, and these are things that we have to keep pushing and keep fighting for until the people all the way to the top not only understand and acknowledge them, but work to make them real protected truths. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes, um, hopefully. Uh, don't go anywhere. We have no stance on ad blockers. All right, looks like internet's quieted down again. That one was just a couple of minutes. Music inoffensive, perhaps even good. There's the brain. Yeah, it's all like, well, most of it so far has been remixes and covers of uh, Final Fantasy 1 music. Which, as Andy said, isn't the best in the series for the most part, but it's got a few real bangers. And none of it's bad.
I may actually have to switch this up for uh, headphone volume, just so I, headphone muse, headphone audio, just so I can hear it clearly. Mm, excuse me. Uh, let's see. Increases MP recovery from normal attacks. I like the sound of that. his head off. hate when I'm trying to hold something, but at least one pop joint didn't connect right when it was picked up. Yeah. I know that feeling. So I probably can't go this way. Nope. So I probably can go this way, but there is like this dark mist. No, I haven't gotten around to it yet, Bad Road. Today was a busy day. Oh shit. Anyone who knows Final Fantasy knows knows what this what this is. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh shit, shit, the fight started. Running low? Got to stay sharp, guys. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Also, he can paralyze me, apparently. Wonder if he's got an elemental weakness. So Tonberry's entire deal is walking slowly towards you and then stabbing you a hundred times. There we go. Ooh, there's a strider suit. 
Strider Gauntlets. I have so much loot. It is frankly fucking ridiculous. Strider Suit. Ooh, Strider Suit level 8. With 10% something affinity. Don't know what that is. Shadow Bottoms. Level 6 Strider Gators. Okay, then. No, I thought he'd be able to wear the uh, shadow stuff. Apparently not. Jet is even more limited than Ash. Okay, these are identical, except that one has one less affinity. So that was that treasure chest. They definitely hang out with Midnight Corn Tots, yes. And we are like so close to being out of potions, and I'm afraid this is the boss fight. It looks like a boss fight door. The darkness is so thick I can taste it. This is it, no doubt. Over there. Should we take a breather? Ah, touch the cubes. There we go. That can only be set to. Oh, wait, that's Cyclone that we already got. Sure, increases physical damage dealt when targeting enemy weakness. Does it taste like corn? What does darkness taste like? Does it taste like corn? I think so. Midnight corn. Oh, there's a tutorial ball down there. And a treasure chest over here. The level 7 greatsword. It's not that great. I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't turn it down. She is a Princess Sarah 1. Fool's Missive 26. She is akin to the crystals. I do not say this idly, of course, but with great conviction. Like the crystals, she is an object of love, worship, gratitude, and hope. Light is drawn to her like moth is to a flame. But she too bears a dark crystal, age of resistance, and so the darkness that springs from reality's warping is also drawn to her. What this means is that her existence is likely to become that of harmonizing element. 
one of a rare few that can maintain the balance between light and dark. As we saw in Final Fantasy IX, um, giving the crystals all the power isn't great either. Interacting with spheres during a mission may earn you special books of lore. Fool's missives are a series of letters and notes. Both their author and their intended recipient are a mystery. Lufinian reports, official records detailing information on an intricate plan. You can view these documents from the archives. Cool. One more stop, even though we haven't done anything. Time for a change. This is the one. Time for a change. <clears throat> Having me press select to open stuff is weird. Kill chaos. The prophets' <laughs> very own warriors of light. Really? He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to the whole. It's Garland. No, I am to become chaos. <laughs> Just whipped me around. All right, we got tough boss fights. You can learn new abilities from the job tree. Thanks. Like, yeah, but these are the jobs that I want right now. Fine. Honestly, the great sword seems like it's probably the best bet here. Or maybe this actually maybe the sword fighter. Charged attack link enhances abilities set to hold RB and RT. Huh. Oh, I don't know. I guess. Combo effects enhance all combo abilities that are assigned to a specific slot. These effects only trigger immediately after a RB normal attack hits. Combo effects can be learned that can be learned vary by job. I still only have the one sword. That's wild. Let's go for it. Let's go all out. I don't have any... I'm guessing you're not supposed to have Sword Fighter this early. Which means that, uh... It's kind of broken that they gave that as a pre-order bonus. Okay. Oh, it gave me my... Well, 
Whoa. Whoa. This one's gonna hurt. Just stand there. Oh shit, I forgot which button was block. We're in for it. Oof. That is tough. This is a big difficulty spike. Well, what's this one say? This foe is swift and leaves few openings. Watch his movements closely and wait for your chance to strike. Can use soul shield with B to store up MP, then assail him with Lightbringer. Oh good, it's giving me hints. You can remove Chaos Advance buffs by attacking with attributes he is weak against. Utilize magic and instant abilities to create an opening in his defenses. Well, it didn't tell me what he was weak against. Okay. That wasn't fair. Oh, unblockable. God, that just eats my HP right away. Is it a set of cubes? Oh, fuck off. See, that's when it gets frustrating is when the game talks down to you for losing a couple times. That's okay. Whoops. We're a few steps behind. Ah, fuck. Good. I keep forgetting which button is which. That's been my main problem. Oh shit. Save some of that later. No room for mistakes. Alright. Oof. That's the last of them. Gotta stay sharp, guys. Better tread carefully. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna try the great sword since that's what it started with me started me with. What? No. Why would I want to return to world now? Doesn't make any sense. All right. Let's try... Rebellion, I guess. Increase Swordsman Job Affinity. Okay. Let's see how this goes. At least I know I can do more uh, stance damage or whatever it's called. Oof. There we go. Oh, I missed. Time for a change. We're a few steps behind. Come on, we can do this. Ow. That ice slash is a lot. Ah, there we go. Yet. Say it so. You okay on potions? Hey, be safe, guys. Get him hard. 
All right. Oof. Not enough. Finished phase one, though. Person under there? No way. So this is what darkness does to humans. Keep it alive. Answers. I've seen that attack before. Yeah. Death. We know who does it better. Better tread carefully. I see a on Jack. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> it's the last of them. Gotta stay sharp. Oh, should have seen that coming. Getting desperate. That was close, though. Okay, let's try this again. one down the great sword is definitely the way to go oh my gosh no room for mistakes getting desperate Holy shit. Oh, I'll finish him, all right. Come on, don't make me QTE. Okay, good. It's not a QTE. And he just drops loot. <laughs> Why did they have him drop loot? So they didn't have him say, I will knock you all down, but they did have Ash say it earlier. For the reveal. Surprised exhale. <sighs> Wait. My crystal. It's her. Yeah. Just like before. Huh. Mine's going crazy. I mean, basically, yeah, Bad Road. I'm Neon. I mean, you're not that Neon. And not Chaos. Guess I was right. <laughs> huh. Feels like there's a story behind that. My allies and I set out to rid the land of chaos. But the journey took its toll. One by one we fell, until only I remained. It was then that I finally realized the truth. Chaos isn't a man, or a monster. Mm -hmm. Chaos is just a fairy tale. The darkness, the beasts, 
this despair that eats away at people's hearts? It's easy to blame a single thing for all of that. It gives people hope to think the world can be saved with a single- Sounds like the speech at the end of the movie. Even if it's never that simple. So I decided to become a sacrifice. I offered myself to the darkness and prayed to become chaos, hoping some band of heroes would defeat me and thus bring an end to this empty dream. Bullshit. <laughs> Music plays. Nope, there's the limp biscuit. <laughs> it's not made any less funny by changing the voice actor. He's out there. I can feel him. I just have to keep looking. I'll find him. I'm coming too. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. And I only count three of you. We don't need someone whose heart's not in it. Then show me chaos. Do that, and I might even start to respect you. Deal. We better get back to the castle. Wouldn't want to disappoint our patrons. That was lovely. All right, we got a proper great sword, more strider items, and two anima shards. Main mission in memories. This mission is now available. I want to continue, but I do have to be up early to go to the dentist. So, yeah. It's not gay if there's a girl in the room. See, that's what they tried to do in FF15 was say it's not gay it's just it's 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 because see they're all they're all totally straight boys they're all totally straight dudes just having a boys road trip so now they're like look there's a girl there's a girl now see see not gay <laughs> but again team ninja does not Team Team Ninja, the current version of Team Ninja, I must emphasize the current version of Team Ninja um, does does gay shit. So Jack has zero time for anything that does not involve killing chaos. It's true. Spirit, raise your mace, brute strike, raise your mace and assail enemies with a striking attack that will send them flying. Good. Oh, you can watch a movie of it too. Whoops. I pressed the wrong button. I always get the three lines um, mixed up with the with the two rectangles. Oh, well, it's so low res, it's so tiny. And they all show Jack in his fucking street clothes. Sure. We'll give the mage an extra link ability. There should be caster jorts. A level 6 caster coat. What am I wearing currently? A level 5 caster coat with affinity. There's so much. Y'all, there is just so much tra vendor trash equipment.
Like, holy shit. The Killer Knuckles. Alright, level 10 weapon. Um, no level 10 weapon for Jeb, though. Keeping that 28% Pale Protector on him, though. I wonder if I can equip Neon yet. Oh, I sure can. She wears... A sailor dress and bandages. Also, one ankle sock. Y'all seeing this? She has one ankle sock. Huh. She can wear the shadow kit. All damage taken lowered. I like that. Here's a shadow cloak. There we go. Now she's cool. Oh, she can use shields, too. I guess I can give her the lustrous shield. Since I'm not playing as her, it's fine. And I can give her Braveheart then, too. Now let's give her this... This broadsword. It's cooler looking. She's a Kingdom Hearts. Oh, no. Is that, is that an undershorted sh shirt, or did she just wrap bandages around her torso? I am not sure. No, it's an undershirt. Alright, so I guess I better call it here. That is really fun. Here's our schedule for the next week. Um, hopefully. Hopefully they keep working on the, on the node until they get it actually working. That'd be nice. Tomorrow is Friday, so Katie's probably gonna play Kingdom Hearts 2. Saturday on the Xenon Fiber channel, someone will be playing Kingdom Hearts. Sunday, uh, Christy's gonna be playing Griftlands. Monday, Andy's gonna continue Final Fantasy 1. And we got our wildcard stream. Uh, their channel is Andymonium. Tuesday, Annie's going to play more Skyward Sword. Wednesday, Sue and Christy are going to play Monster Hunter Rise. And Bad Road, on his channel, is going to play Second Sight. And then Thursday, I'll continue with this. It is very silly. And it really doesn't seem to think that it's silly. I have bad news, and it's that Neon's Organization 13 name is Xenon. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let's see. Um, here's our YouTube channel in case you, uh, you just can't get enough. And if you're watching on YouTube, hi. I have good news, It's and it's that <laughs> my Organization 13 name, says Christy, is Sick Tricks. That's pretty rad. 
I guess I guess your non keyblade weapon would be a skateboard. All right. So thanks for joining and I'll see you next time. Wish me luck at the dentist.